this should free those hogfish. Luther, prepare to drop anchor. Ready, Freddy! Fire away! What? No! Come back! Please come back! We're going home. The food's terrible here. Oh, what do we do now, Maury? I think you should give yourselves up. You're under arrest in the name of the law. Law? What law? Yeah, I don't see any law. Then I suggest you turn around real slow like. It's Sheriff Shrimp. Yeah, and just about everybody in town, it looks like. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the rustling. Yeah, that's right. They kept talking to somebody called Mr. Big. I never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. <gasps> when the wrestlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? saying to meet here, we heard you call them to talk about it. Note? The only call I made about a note was about a musical note. A musical note? Well, yeah, see, I got a bet going with old Seven Finger Charlie from the Plankton Hut about this one particular note in a ragtime tune. He thinks it's a B-flat, but really, it's an A-flat. Big difference. Well, we also heard you talking about singing This Little Piggy. What was that about? My wife was trying to get our kids to go to sleep. We have 17, you know. Land sakes. So you're not Mr. Big? Nope. Afraid not. That phone call did sound suspicious, but Phil isn't the one we're looking for. Who is it then? I'll bet it's Nelson Torso. No, uh, uh, but, uh, but, um... Business hasn't been very good at Jess Buckles lately, has it? Well, no, but... And I noticed that you were building a barbell at your shop. Big enough for hogfish, maybe? No. You see, everyone thinks I keep in such great shape at my shop. I'm starting to get a little... flabby. So, the barbell... It's for me, yes! <laughs> But I'm not a wrestler! No, he isn't. It's not Nelson? That was a good guess, but no, it's not him. Then which one of us is it? Mr. Big must 
must be Sahara Slim. I assure you, I'm not your perpetrator. We saw you sending a telegram. You said, keep them on ice. Yeah, that was about some suspects in another case. You see, I'm here undercover. I'm actually Sahara Slim under sea marshal. <laughs> I sure didn't expect that. I'm here investigating possible violations of the undersea coffee break statutes. <laughs> I guess you're probably not a rustler then. That was smart to notice the telegram, but he's not Mr. Big. So who is? Who's Mr. Big? Maybe it was the squids. They're all pretty suspicious looking. Nonsense! We squids would never take something that didn't belong to us. I raised these boys upright. That's right, she did. Yipper! I'm sure you did. No, it's not any of the squids. Oh, well then who is it? Who's Mr. Big? was those two construction workers. They probably need the extra money for coffee. Does uh, rustling pay more than construction work? I doubt it. No, the construction workers are innocent. Is it Sheriff Shrimp? As the sheriff, he'd probably understand the criminal mind better than anyone. That's true, I do. But I'm no rustler. Yes, it's not the sheriff. Well, who is it then? Mr. Barker, you've been in some financial trouble lately, haven't you? What makes you say that? Luther and I overheard you talking to a loan shark about it. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. We also read your I.O.U. Even though you tried to tell us it was a poem, you rustled the hogfish to pay off your debts, didn't you? Yeah, I'm afraid I did. <laughs> what was it that first tipped you off? It was the gum. You had an awfully small supply for a gum salesman, and I got to wondering, what had happened to the rest of it? The hogfish were still chewing it when we got here. Yes, yeah, Super Rubber Bubble lasts a long time. It's a fabulous product, which is why I borrowed money to invest in it. But the sales weren't so good, and I was going to have to declare bankruptcy. I figured even if I couldn't sell the hogfish, I could at least get into hogfish ranching, which, as you know, is a much more respectable profession than sales. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. You're right. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers. But we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out at my place. I'm glad that's worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten gallon hats! Yours is a five gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh, boy! Now, come on, you two. Show you how to tie a lasso. Oh, give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the animals.
Antelope Plains.